Hey guys, it's Kennedy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I've been seeing YouTube videos go around of somebody choosing a makeup palette, numbering it, and then picking four numbers and all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. But today we're going to be using Beauty Creations Anna. These are the shades. I'm hoping for nothing like pink or purple because I feel like I always do colors like that even if it's not on my channel. So yeah, so right now we're gonna pick the three, the four colors, sorry, the four colors, and then I'll do my base and everything off camera and then I'll come back and do the eyeshadow with you. So right now I'm gonna just choose four colors so right now I choose 18 so let me see which one's 18 if I can get it open 18 is this like bur bur burnt orange kind of shade the next color <laughs> is two. Oh, that's perfect that can be like a little setting shade and it's this like little like um just like a, how do I explain it? A setting shade, I guess. Um, the next color is one, which is this shimmery champagne kind of color right there. And then our last color, ooh, I was kind of hoping for something spooky season. Our last color is six. Yeah. which is which is this kind of like tanner shade so I guess that's gonna be a look that I'm gonna have to figure out what to do um but yeah so those are our four shades so yeah so let me do my base and everything off camera and then I'll come back to you guys and I will do the eyeshadow look with you guys. Cool? Okay, guys, so I finished my base makeup. I'm baking right now. So while I'm doing that, we're going to start the eyeshadow. So first off, we're going to make sure that the eyelid is blended out from the concealer that I put down. And then I'm going to take, um, what number was it? I think it was shade two. So I'm going to take shade two and just put it all over the lid as a like prepping shade I guess I'm just gonna put that in like so putting that in like that same thing to the other eye I'm using the second shade, which is this one right here. And just dipping in and putting that all over my eyelid. Like so. So now from there, I think I'm going to put shade 18 all over the lid. So I think I'm going to take this shade, shade 18, all over the lid, like covering the entire thing. And then, so for right now, we're just going to put that, like, everywhere and we're gonna kind of um wing it outward so we're just gonna kind of tap it in right here first kind of like as in a circle shade so we're gonna put this all over the lid but instead of bringing it up to the eyebrow we're not gonna do that yet so we're just gonna take this shade all over we're gonna kind of blend up but you don't want to go all the way up and then we're gonna kind of start flinging it outward we're gonna kind of blend it upward but you don't want to blend it up all the way actually maybe we should blend it all the way I don't know I haven't yet I have yet to decide what we're gonna do I don't know what we're gonna do yet I'm just kind of hoping for the best <laughs> Kind of. So at least we got one shimmer shade. One. Remember to fling it outward. Dipping back into that shade 18. And we're just going to kind of go back in it. 
it kind the shade kind of reminds me of a um burnt cheeto like you know the regular kind not the like extra hot kind just the regular kind and then now that we have it kind of flinked outward like so we are going to take a um, fluffy rounded brush like so and we're going to dip into that same orange shade and now we're just going to put it on the lid so that it's a full orange lid so we're going to take that circular brush and we're just going to kind of tap it in and blend into the shade like so so while we're doing this i'll explain why i didn't upload for like six months um so yeah so okay the last video i think i filmed before i started uploading was the one that when i had surgery on i'm just taking that same fluffy brush that we put it all in and just gonna blend it out um what was i saying oh so the last video i uploaded was when i had surgery so i was planning on making more videos i was and then um softball got kind of busy so it was kind of harder for me to upload so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to film the process of me getting ready, ready for prom and me at prom and me and my friends. So I literally did the entire like filming process and everything. And then while I was getting ready for prom, I heard my mom called me and was like, hey, my chihuahua, the one that you guys seen in my video i think i was getting on ready or my night routine or something like that but i showed them in a small clip it was a very qu quick clip and i got a call saying that um he was bleeding really bad and he was he heard them him cry outside so when he ran out there she thought my pet pig um she thought my pet pig had like pushed him over or like kind of went at him and attacked him in some way or something like that so um so she thought that happened but he was nowhere near the pig or the pig was nowhere near him and he was like from what i heard he was um towards the back gate like the backyard gate and so <laughs> So my mom went out there and she picked him up to see if he was okay. She said she didn't see anything, but then when she went to go set him down, she saw all the blood on her hands. So then she thought, okay, maybe he just got a splinter or something, you know? And then, so then she like is getting him in the freaking shower or the bath, getting him cleaned up to see like where the wound was and like what, what was going on and what was wrong. So she was doing that and she cleaned him up and she found three different wounds. She found one, I think, on his like back right here, like on his like, um, like kind of like his spine, but more towards his shoulders, I guess you can say. And then the other two were underneath his stomachs, like that. Like it was like two right here and then one on his back. So she said she thought that maybe he just like um, he got like hit by a thorn or something because we had a very big thorn tree out there and it was always a worry of ours that something would happen to the pets with that tree. So we would like cut it down and stuff and all that kind of stuff. And so then she's like watching him and stuff. And so she's like, well, so she super glues his cuts, cleans them all up. He's good. Like he's fine. He's a kind of, he's kind of like, um, startled, I guess you can say. And so... He, um, so I get that call saying that he was hurt, but they think that he was going to be fine, that he was fine, that he just needed a rest and he was a little bloody, but they were keeping him inside and like, he was just kind of scared and we don't know what happened to him, that they don't know what they, what actually happened. They don't know anything about that. So they were just kind of watching him. And as my mom was watching him. They noticed like four other different wounds that were on him. So we were like, what the heck? But they were 
in different areas they weren't like um how do i explain it they weren't like aligned or something that could help us figure out what happened you know what i mean so we're sitting there she's sitting there trying to figure out what's going on and i'm getting ready for prom trying not to cry trying to be like yes this is my best friend senior prom it's my junior prom i'm trying to not ruin it for her so i was like you know i'm just gonna kind of enjoy the night and hope for the best you know so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm enjoying the night we're at dinner and i'm texting my mom like is he okay is she okay is he okay she sorry is he okay and she was like i don't want to talk about it right now like he looks like he's doing fine she's telling me he's doing fine and all this stuff and so i'm filming the entire prom thing i had the entire video set up to put it up i just needed to do the outro and so <laughs> i'm crying at dinner because i don't know if he's okay because the way my mom was acting he wasn't okay and so i was panicking and i was like i should just go home i should just go home be with him and stuff taking that same round brush to do my lid and so i was like i should just go home i should just go home and everyone's like no kennedy you've already spent sixty dollars on the ticket and you've already got spent almost two hundred dollars on your dress just stay he's fine he's fine so i was like okay okay fine so i stay at prom or we go into prom and i didn't really think about it while i was at prom because i wanted to enjoy my night and so that's what i did i enjoyed my night and then we went over to my best friend's house and and um and so I try calling my mom and she's like, and did you have fun? Like we get to my best friend's house and she's like, um, she's getting like um, out of her prom dress in the bathroom and I'm in her kitchen and um, I'm sitting there and I'm like, hey, like tell me, like is he okay? And my mom's like, I don't want to talk about it. And after she said that she didn't want to talk about it, sorry, I'm taking that same like number two shade that we put all over the lid um, just to kind of clean up the edges. So her saying that she didn't want to talk about it i kind of knew what was up but i didn't want to come to terms with it so uh, she finally i keep persisting her like yes tell me like i want to know like i want to know is he okay like did all this stuff and so she's like no he's he didn't make it he's gone and i was like no you're lying he's not dead you're lying you're lying and she was like i'm not lying like he just didn't make it. They said they said that uh, she was like, he didn't make it. What happened was, and I'm sitting there hysterically crying. I have bo boogers everywhere. Like, I'm just upset. And so I'm just sitting there crying. And he, she's like, we went to go get him a compression band from the Dollar General because it looked like one of his sides of his ribs were in more. And it looked like he was like having trouble breathing and so she said that she went to go get him a compression band because she thought like his lung was punctured to kind of help him like hold it together until we could get him to the vet and so she said that while she was going there we got a call from somebody who was living at our house and was like he he's gone like he he just stopped breathing and he went peacefully i guess but it wasn't really peacefully because he was basically murdered but like so I start crying my best friend's sitting there comforting me and then I call my sister and she's like mom told you she wasn't supposed to tell you till the morning and we're both sitting on FaceTime hysterically crying and it was just so bad it was just so bad so the next morning I go home and I'm just sitting there in tears crying I walk home and I'm like this is the first night that I'm not gonna have him in my bed for eight years he was our childhood pet like it was hard for us and so hold on so now i'm gonna take uh number six and just kind of blend it into the top to make it more even so he's our childhood pet and i'm kind of like this is not real this isn't happening this isn't happening and it was happening it was really happening and so I got home, started cleaning, trying to like let my emotions out. I'm sitting there hysterically crying and my mom had to go to work. And so I remember being home by myself and just sitting there crying. And so 
I remember going outside where my mom said that she found him and I was walking around and I noticed a rock covered in his blood. Like it was this big of a rock, like this big. And my dog was only like this big. And the rock was covered in blood. And I called my mom like this rock is covered in his blood. Like something happened that isn't just like he ran into a thorn. No, he's like covered in blood. So we still, we at this point, we don't know what's wrong with him. We don't know what happened. So um, I'm going to take number one, the shade. Um, it's like the champagne color. I'm going to put that kind of in the center of my lid and then on my outer corner. So I'm out there investigating because, you know, I want to know what happened to my dog. Like he's just one day he's gone and the next day, one day he's there and the next day he's gone. So I want to know what's happening. And so I think about it. And when we first moved into that house, he got out of the gate. Him and our Pomeranian got out of the gate and he, I had to jump the fence to get him. And so when I jumped the fence, I remember looking over to look behind me and there was a hawk looking at us because, you know, I had his dinner in my arms and I remember having to run away from this hawk so it wouldn't attack me. And it was like literally chasing me. Like I'm not being dramatic. It literally chased me. And so I'm thinking about all this stuff that happened when we first moved in and it starts to click and I'm like, we've always had problems with hawks there and like... So we're like, okay, I'm thinking, my mom's thinking, my sister's thinking, and we're all just kind of like, yeah, that happened. Like, he's gone, but what happened to him? Like, none of us know what happened to him. So I started putting two and two together, and I think a hawk grabbed him, and I think this giant freaking thorn tree that we had, I think the dog was moving around, my dog, he was moving around, and the hawk lost grip of my dog, which was the three marks on his the one on his back and underneath the stomach and when the hawk dropped him he fell into the thorn tree and he hit that rock and when he hit that rock he punctured his rib broke and punctured his lung so that's what i'm thinking that's happened and that's what we went with since he's died and so yeah so after my dog died i never got to um post a prom video because my dog died like I didn't want to do act happy when I wasn't it was a very sad moment in all of our lives and I know you guys are gonna be like it was a dog like it wasn't just a dog and that's the thing everyone's like it's just a pet like I don't get why everyone gets so da 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 um so basically everyone's like it's just a dog I don't know why you're tripping like it's just a dog they come and go and it was just a hard time in all of our lives like me and my sister were crying for days on end it was very, very sad for us. And so that's why I didn't post anything. I deleted the footage from prom and I never recorded an outro. I never finished recording it and everything. And so that was that. That's why I never uploaded that video. So then I started wanting to upload. Honestly, I can go a story, another story time if you guys want one on why I haven't been uploading. A lot of things happened in my life between april to august on why i wasn't uploading so if you guys want to story on time with that just let me know in the comments below and i'll do a get ready with me and we can have a story time but i don't want to make this video too long because it probably already is long and so i don't want to put you all through that so yeah so right now i'm just applying that number one shade this one to the uh, middle of my eye and the inner corner and then those are all four of the shades that we got but now I'm going to take this fluffy brush and kind of dust off that bake that I had underneath there and just kind of take that off and then now I'm going to take the fit me powder it's in the shade light and I'm just going to put that to the rest of my face where that big bake wasn't at. And then I'm just tweaking that all over. Okay, so now that I have all that wiped off, I'm going to take that same like burnt orange that we were using, number 18. This one, that the one that's all over our lid. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and put that underneath the my lash line. 
now I'm going to take that and just kind of start putting that underneath actually yeah no mm. okay so we're going to take this fluffier brush by elf it's called the blending eye brush so now we're going to take that burnt orange shade and we're going to just put it underneath my lash line and blend it into that smoked out corner and we're going to take that all the way into the inner corner and we're going to take that out the um outer corner into the outer corner that we blended outward if that makes it so now we're just going to put that right there and then we're going to do the same thing to the other eye So now that I have that under there, I'm going to take that same brush that we originally blended everything in and I'm going to just kind of smoke it out even more. Okay, so now I'm going to take that fluffy brush that we took the bake off and just kind of run it underneath my eyes like so. And now that is the eye look completed, but now I'm going to do the rest of my base makeup and put some um, mascara on and a lipstick and I'll come back to you guys and show you guys the finished look. Hey guys, this is the finished look. So I did not tell you guys what I used for my face makeup. So I used the e.l.f. concealer and I used a Dollar General foundation. And then I used an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. And then I used an e.l.f. bronzer. And I'm not wearing any blush. And then that wet and wild highlight that I used in the last video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any ideas what you want me to do next, leave it down below. Please like and subscribe. Please. <laughs> I hope you, if you guys haven't seen my last video of my best friend cutting my hair, Go watch that one. It's kind of boring, but kind of fun. So you can see me stress out. So I hope you guys like this look. Um, I really like the colors and like the way the orange brings out my eyes. Um, the lipstick that I am using is the Kylie, um, what is it called? The Kylie Angel is back in that shade. Um, and then I'm using, once again, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop lip gloss on top of it. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, see you guys in the next one. Bye.